It came from somewhere in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. A massive pile of rock and rubble, rotating and rumbling its way towards Earth. What was once mere debris from the Big Bang is now destined to make a Big Bang of its own. Bursting through the Earth's atmosphere, this giant asteroid becomes an unstoppable force. Nearly two million times more powerful than the Soviet Emperor bomb, the largest, most powerful explosive device ever detonated. Its target, Los Angeles. The last thing anyone there sees is a flash, a fireball, and then... If this asteroid were as large as we might imagine, a 10-kilometer asteroid, we would be talking about a crater that is 10 times larger than that, so we'd be talking about a 50-mile crater. So all of Los Angeles would end up being this humongous crater. We'd be talking about absolute devastation, nothing left over range up to perhaps oh, 100 miles. As far away as San Diego, they would get massive earthquakes, they would get massive air blasts, winds that would simply flatten everything 200 miles away, uh, would kill everything out to a range of perhaps 1,000 miles. And that's just the immediate impact. Then you would have all this debris fall back on the planet Earth. It'd be like a Christmas tree, seeing all these ornaments being thrown out in all directions. And then you would see firestorms, enormous areas of the planet Earth burning, releasing even more soot and ash in the air, blanketing out sunlight, temperatures would then plunge, and life itself would be perhaps extinguished. you've just seen is a worst case scenario of a major Earth impact event. The kinds of asteroids that can extinguish much of the life on Earth, most of the species, come around every, say, 100 million years or so. And it's not a periodic phenomenon. It doesn't happen every 100 million years. It could happen at any time, just on average, roughly once every 100 million years. So it's not a question of if it'll happen. It's a question of when it will happen. 